Hello. Today I'm going to be talking about a subversion client for the Mac called Versions. This is this video has been created for the challenge put out by Chris Perillo at Lockernome for screencasts. So let's go ahead and get started here. So Versions uh, is a paid software, but if you work with Subversion a lot or SVNs, this program is very very good. I got really tired of the command line. The price is not that bad and it's it's just well worth it. So let's go ahead and open up versions. One of the cool things I like with versions is this application will support creating your own local repository so you can actually serve one right on your Mac. You can connect to an existing repository or you can also connect to an already working copy of a repository. So right here you basically have your bookmarks and if we go here into my blog here I can go ahead and see all my files from my blog. If I make some changes to a file I can click on the changed here and it will list just the files that have been changed. One of the other nice features I like is the timeline view and I can just basically go back in history from day one when this started and see what was done when I can read my comments if it was like added, deleted, removed uh, M is for modified it, it's a very nice tool and again with the Mac versions or Mac SVN there's not a really nice client out there so if I come back in the browse here, I can go ahead and click on a file and I can do a quick look. And I can quickly look to see what's in the file. So it takes advantage of that nice tool from uh, that Mac has built in. You then have the inspector where you can basically look at some properties here. You can get some information very very nice tool so now the compare diff tool I actually don't have Xcode installed right now so I can't show you the compare diff tool so that again it's a typical view and compare not that bad so you can go ahead and you can double click on a file and it will open up any default editor you have to actually fully edit it. If I go and just add a one to that just to make it a difference, close that up. Now you can see here's a one. I can basically see the pencil here that's telling me there's a change. So I can just highlight and hit commit and go ahead testing for tutorial and then now that's no longer there so there's just all the basic features of what you can do again you can hit spacebar also to do the quick look so it does have keyboard shortcuts you can hit the revert button to revert back to when you just started as far as this particular application or the, when this application is opened or I can right click and go update my blog to revision and I can go and just go back in time I could click here hit select and it would go ahead and do what it needs to do so I hope this tutorial was helpful if it was please subscribe thank you